diversity and how they can choose to be a boy or a girl or both. Gender identity is about in here. It's about what's up here and in here. As part of a program said to combat bullying, Redwood Heights Elementary brought in Gender Spectrum, an activist group whose mission is to create more gender sensitive environments for kids. True or false, animals have only two genders. These fourth graders were told that in nature things aren't always what they seem. Some dolphins have both boy and girl parts, and clownfish can switch genders. Gender Spectrum says that diversity applies to people, too. People can be girls, feel like girls, they can feel like boys, they can feel like both, and they can even feel like, as I said, kind of like neither. Critics say these lessons amount to indoctrination by activist groups. In the California State Senate today, discussing an amendment to a bill that would make parents guilty of child abuse if they don't affirm their child's gender identity. Critics say it would lead to children being taken away from a parent in a custody dispute. Target, one of the nation's largest retailers, is pulling some products that celebrate Pride Month off store shelves. Citing threats to employees, the company says, given these volatile circumstances, we are making adjustments to our plans, including removing items that have been at the center of the most significant confrontational behavior. 
Target also reportedly reviewing its adult collection of tuck-friendly swimsuits that allows trans people who have not had gender-affirming operations to conceal their private parts. The retailer removing LGBTQ brand App Prowlin from their stores and website, whose products featured satanic themes. And designs from a company that make satanic-themed LGBTQ plus merchandise. One of the brand's merchandise reading, Satanism respects pronouns. This comes as the retail giant is ramping up their pride-related merchandise. So Target has hired Eric, a self-proclaimed gay trans man, to design some of its clothing for Pride Month. After a quick look through Eric's Instagram, we learned something pretty interesting. He has an obsession with Satanism. He's designed a Satan Respects Pronouns t-shirt, gay as hell stickers, and stained glass windows with the words, trans bodies are holy. Eric also uses some pretty violent imagery. He has a burn down the system lighter, a we bash back mace, and times up for the transphobes skull pins. And in March, he said that in order to, quote, keep the transphobes at bay, we must eradicate them. Target hired a company by the name of Ab Pralin. Ab Pralin is a UK-based clothing line owned by the designer Eric Carnell, and he designed at least three items for Target's Pride clothing line. This sweater, this tote bag, and this fanny pack. It wasn't so much what Eric designed for Target's Pride line that caused the massive outlash. It was the other clothing that Eric was known to create. See, Eric identifies as a trans man, so he makes clothing with a message about his preference. When people started looking into his designs, they quickly noticed that all of his designs were full of occultic and satanic imagery. This design created by the designer features a photo of Baphomet with the phrase underneath it stating, Satan respects pronouns. He also has other designs with the phrase, join my gay cult, and it also displays a Masonic all-seeing eye in the design. What's interesting is that Eric, unlike other occultists, is open with the imagery he is pushing, as he was quoted saying this about his Baphomet design, Satan is hope, compassion, equality, and love. So naturally, Satan respects pronouns. He loves all LGBT plus people. And I went with a variation of Baphomet for this design, a deity who themselves is a mixture of genders, being ideas and existence. They reject binary stereotypes and expectations. Hey, do you guys support the satanic pride propaganda? I, I yeah, both. You support it? Satan you say, and pride. You support Satan? Mm hmm What's God gonna think of that? I don't believe in God. Wow. Don't, so you Did think- Did you need help with something? You support the propaganda that's targeting the kids? There's nothing targeting kids. All it's all over kids TV shows. It's all over. They're targeting kids. The kids can choose to wear whatever they want. Do you support the sexualization of kids through pride propaganda by sir, corporate? Is there something that we can help you with? I'm just asking people questions. What about you, sir? Do you, do you support I'm not answering this? Any questions? But if you're here to cause any disturbance in the store, I'm just asking questions. Do you work? Yeah, do you work for the target? Disrupting. Do you work yes, for target? I do actually. Where's your name tag? I I am the undercover loss prevention. Oh, okay. So. I'm just asking questions. So, do you support the satanic propaganda? I'm not like answering your questions. What you need to do is you either need to leave the store. God will judge you guys. Okay. I mean, I can't. You won't if I don't believe in it. Sure. Hey, ma'am, do you support this? What yes, did I just say? You support pride propaganda? Stop, Whoa, I'm buying, buying this. I need you to, you're, Whoa, let you just go, said you're ma not buying it. I'm going to buy it and burn it. Okay, that's your choice. You can totally do that. But what I said is you need to leave. You can't ask anybody any more questions. You can't disrupt Freedom any of speech. More call the police. Do you want me to call? Yeah, them? call them. Okay. Trespass me. I don't care, dude. Uh, okay. Clearly. You think I care if you trespass? I've done this no, a thousand we times. Never, we never said that. You're, you guys are satanic. True. Wait. Speaking of the LGBT stuff, do y'all know this, man? Another element that people are missing with this whole thing going on with the LGBT, why they're pushing it so hard, and where's this stuff coming from? It's coming from the very top. Why are these small elite groups from the top pushing this so heavy? Why are they pushing this thing so heavy? Y'all better understand something else. There's another element with this stuff that they're pushing. There's another element that a lot of people are missing. Have y'all noticed a lot of these pride marches that we see out here if you notice a lot of the pride marches that we see you see people walking around with lgbt satan signs you see stuff like this at a few of these pride marches 
you'll see these people talking about Satan loves gays and you'll see a lot of Satan stuff tied in with this stuff. Let's put the tinfoil kufi on for a minute. A lot of this stuff is tied in. Oh, let me get deep for a minute. We know it's all about population control, but some of this stuff, man, they tie it in with the Satanism too. It's real heavy. Remember when Target was on the hot seat for having those kid clothes? What were they really on? No, Marcel is my brother. Greg Marcel is a, that's a writer. We don't knock anybody because of their sexuality, we're, we're knocking people because of an agenda. When they have an agenda, especially to target children, that's a problem. Yeah, they're running around talking about they're coming for our kids and all of that. Listen, man, remember Target when they had the kids' clothes? They were, they had these trans LGBT children's clothes. The problem that people really had with it was the designer of those clothes. That dude was a dude who also designed stuff for like Satanism type of shit. He was a Satanist, allegedly. The trans, this is the Washington Post, trans designer dumped by Target and he explains why he got smeared as a Satanist. So this guy was clicked in with Satanism and all this stuff and people, this Eric Carnell guy. So a lot of his work was tied in with a lot of Satanist imagery. So a lot of people had issues with that. You dig? Notice this stuff here. Satan respects pronouns. The Baphomet. Okay? This is not an accident, family. You see that symbol? That's the Baphomet signal, symbol. What? Look at what these guys are tied into, family. Uh, we got to put the tinfoil kufi on. All right. Satan respects pronouns. So that's a that's a little saying that they're going around doing. Satan respects pronouns. Satan respects pronouns. Why are they saying that? Why are they talking about Satan respects pronouns? So they're going around. That's a that's a saying. They're saying this stuff, and why, why are they saying this? Hold on. They got a whole bunch of shirts. Yeah? Talking about this. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to show y'all some of the Google stuff. Hold on. Satan respects pro. There's a whole bunch of these Satan respects pronoun shirts. Hold on. Where am I? Where am I? Come on, thing. Okay. Okay, yeah, they got whole shirts about this stuff. There's a whole bunch of this stuff. With the Baphomet signal. All right, and the designer, he has all that Satan respects pronoun stuff. Satan respects pronouns. Satan respects pronouns. I'm telling you, it's heavy. And also, at some of these pride marches, they're walking around with flags with the Baphomet signal. All right? I'm breaking all this stuff down. I'm, I'm slow walking it. Hold on. Hold on. All right. So you look at some of these pride marches. All right. This guy's throwing up the Baphomet signal. They got the Baphomet hell pride, hell thyself. They're doing these pride trans marches with all of this Baphomet symbology. Yeah. Now, why are they doing this? Why do they keep tying in the Baphomet? Oh, yeah, I'm putting the 10 Kufi on. Now, the Baphomet, that's the signal, the symbol for Satanism and a lot of Satanism and devil worship and all of this stuff. And a lot of these um, powerful elitists, they're into that stuff. A lot of these powerful elitists are into Satanism. And they're talking about controlling the masses. And they've always been trying to interject a Satanist agenda to control the masses. Look at the Baphomet signal. Let's, let's break this thing down. Let's put the tinfoil kufi on. A lot of people, you've never really taken a good look 
at the Baphomet signal. This is the symbol for the Baphomet. A lot of the Satanists worship this. This is the Baphomet. Take a good look at the Baphomet. The Baphomet is a male slash female. The Baphomet is a transgender satanic deity. Notice that the Baphomet is shaped like a man, but it has women's breast. All right. It's supposed to represent equilibrium. All right. The Baphomet is a transgender deity. Okay. A lot of folks don't really understand this. Let's look up some more information about the Baphomet. This is the Baphomet. The Baphomet is composed of binary elements representing symbolizations of the equilibrium of opposites. Have human, have animal, have male, have female, good and evil. Yeah. So this is some stuff that they've been trying to push where they can make everything half and half and this is their idea of equilibrium make everything androgynous so that they can control it it's some real deep stuff man it's some real deep stuff so a lot of this stuff is seeped in a lot of that satanic occultism the baphomet is all about that male female equilibrium transgender stuff it's real heavy and it's real evil and it's real demonic it's that alistair crowley stuff it's real heavy man it's real heavy yeah as above so below yeah yeah you say rihanna got that does rihanna really have that on her arm oh lord yes the baphomet is a transgender deity yes it is yeah, the Baphomet is trans. It's, it's man and woman. Yeah? So, man, we got to understand how deep these folks are with this stuff and why it's coming from the top. Yeah, and that's because the Knights Templar, you know, they were worshiping that deity when they were, right, when they had the Crusades against Islam. See, they look at that, well, the Crusades... The Knights Templar, they became powerful worshiping this evil deity. So I guess our power will come from that. Yeah, they think their power is going to come from that. It's heavy. It's some heavy stuff, family. Excuse me, guys. So I saw your shirt, the satanic. We're not talking. Please, please leave. Why? Please leave. Don't talk. To me. Would you mind talking real quick? No. So I see your, I see your sign, the satanic. Would you at least talk about what this is? Why you guys feel it's it's important to bring your message to the LGBT Pride Festival? I just want a statement here. Are you guys satanic? Excuse me? Excuse me? Are you a part of the Satanic Temple of Florida? I am not. I know better than this. Are you guys anti-God? Do you believe in God or are you just anti-God? It is... No. No. And you guys cover your faces because you know what you're doing is wrong. If you actually had pride, wants to talk to you. If you actually had pride, what happened to pride? Inflicts your presence on us. We're just standing here. You can move along. I know I can, but I'm choosing not to. Exactly. So you're trying to exert power over us, and you guys are here spreading a message. I'm giving you a potential for thousands of followers, but you guys are. Come on, just say something. I just want to know what your views are with the Satanic Temple. I can tell you what my views yeah, are. Yeah, please. That's what I'm I want. Humanist. I'm an atheist. Um, I believe in science and I believe in uh, equality. That's so, probably about the most of a comment I'm willing to make right now. Well, my question is, with it being Satanic, that would mean you're you believe in the devil, right? No. What? You know what Satan is? I, I know exactly. What Satan is. That's the devil. So we're good. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. I know. I know. I'm done. Thank you. You never started. But then that's what you get. Satan's not an evil guy. He wants you to learn and question why. He wants you to have fun and be yourself. And by the way, there is no hell. Science is important. 
so we understand the world. Satan looks for truth. Let's help him, boys and girls. Everyone is different, and that's okay with Satan. He'll always treat you equal, whether you're black, white, or gay. Said and done, Satan doesn't actually exist. He's an imaginary friend who can teach us how to live. Roger Rabbit, where it's revealed that Jessica Rabbit isn't wearing underwear. Then you have this subtle scene in Aladdin, where if you listen closely, Aladdin whispers, take off your clothes. Leave me alone. Calm down. <laughs> so how's our little bow doing? Come on, good kids. Calm down, kids. Wait. All right, you catch it? It's very low. I'll raise it a little bit. It... Leave me alone. Calm down, kids. So how's our little bow doing? Come on, good kids. Take off the curve. Did you catch it? Again, it's very low. And that's really the goal of subliminal messaging. Something just high enough for your subconscious to internalize, but so low or quick that you don't really realize you have. Now, later in the movie, when Jafar has Jasmine captured, the cracks on the wall spell out the word sex. Just like Rapunzel's hair on this tangled advertisement. Just like what's spelled out on the ice of this Cinderella book. Just like what the dust spells out here in The Lion King. Then, for The Lion King's 2002 re-release, Disney snuck a half-naked woman onto the cover. In Beauty and the Beast, if you pause it at this moment, you'll observe one of Disney's favorite things to accidentally sneak into one of their films, a phallic symbol. Just like what was found on the VHS cover of The Little Mermaid. Or what was found towards the end of The Little Mermaid, where this priest appears to have an erection. Now, in this case, Disney was pressured to eventually correct both for the newer releases. Unlike this Euro Disney cover art, where Minnie Mouse's entire body is a phallic symbol. Or in Hercules, where the River Guardian gets hit in the head with horseshoes, and his three bumps, two small and one long, form, you guessed it, a phallic symbol. I mean, that's too many coincidences, right? Especially for a company that has ties to Epstein, his island, his cover-up, and whose employees keep getting arrested for child pornography rings and pedophilia, right? And there's even other more cryptic things, like the word Mickey being wicked upside down. 
how apropos. Or even Illuminati sort of stuff, like the Walt Disney logo having three sixes in it. Or this episode of DuckTales, where the seeing eye chart behind Scrooge McDuck says, Ask about Illuminati. Or this episode of The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, where on the blackboard behind them it says, The Illuminati Rules. And just for the record, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody is the children's show that Brian Peck was hired for only one year after he was convicted of sexually abusing a child in Nickelodeon. And this episode was right smack in the middle of his one-year run with them. I mean, if this isn't suspect, then I don't know what it is. What's the main claim of Pizzagate? That the Illuminati runs child trafficking rings and that in their circles, pedophilia is completely normal and accepted way of life. Now, furthermore, that's been right under our noses and out into the open this entire time. Just like this Pinocchio scene suggests. I'm collecting stupid little boys. Stupid little boys? You know, the disobedient ones, what play you give them school. And I take them to Pleasure Island. Pleasure Island? But the law, suppose they... No, no, there's no risk. They never come back as boys. And that's not even the most blatant, because if we go to this leaked FBI document from 2007 on WikiLeaks, you'll see that they exposed the pedo symbol for Little Boy Lover, which in turn is right down the open on Gloria from Madagascar's elbow and all over the Disney character Zephyr. There's even things like this scene from Lilo and Stitch, where they have a little girl coming out of a pizza box that looks like an oven, and then gets wrapped up in a blanket and carried away like she's being kidnapped. And then, to top it all off, there's a truck that shows up in almost every single movie named Pizza Planet. I mean, how much more obvious can they make it? And again, that's Disney that owns roughly one-fifth to one-sixth of all the media in this country. That is what total control of the media looks like. All these parent companies combined literally control all all the media every last thing you consume from morning to night in the country and mind you we just went over all the damage that could be done by just one disney isn't even the parent company comcast that owns msnbc it's not the parent company time warner that owns cnn and it's not the parent company viacom that owns things like the cartoon network and comedy central here's a clip from the cartoon network <laughs> That gem goes on like that for about another minute and a half. Here's some more Cartoon Network alumni, the co-creator of Rick and Morty, Dan Harmon, with a pilot episode that he made back in 2009. Hi, I'm Dan Harmon. You're about to watch my controversial new pilot, Daryl. Now, I have to warn you, I originally made it with Showtime uh, for their audience because it's a little groundbreaking for normal people to handle. But maybe you'll surprise me. Good luck. Thank you for being such a good patient. Stick tight, okay? For taking all the sleeping pills I prescribed to you. So that later tonight, when I'm crawling in your window, I can count on you to sleep like a baby. Well, I do everything but sleep with yours. I mean, this disgusting garbage just speaks for itself. This is a guy who works for the freaking Cartoon Network. And then you got stuff like this with this Trolls doll that was just released that has a button on its private parts that giggles when you push it. There's just too many of these stories to be ignored. You can't have this many instances of, oh, sorry, it's just an accident. And finally, here's a scene from one of their kids' shows, Johnny Test. CIA pizza. We deliver to evil secret islands. Yeah, no crap. You mean like this one? Ugh, this whole sick world has been hiding in plain sight, and some people have felt sorry for it. I did kind of feel a bit sorry for him. And some people have not. 
That island was uh, really a cesspool. Some people knew what it was about and did nothing. We all knew about him. We all knew what he was doing. And some people knew what it was about and did do something. He is the only person who picked up the phone and said, let's just talk, I'll give you as much time as you want, had good information, that checked out, and that helped us. Some people turned on Epstein once they found out he was a child molester, and some people had him in the White House several times while also flying all around the world with him. Some people decided not to write about it, and some people kept writing about it until someone listened. Where we go one, we go all. I want to make it clear today that my administration will focus on ending the absolutely horrific practice of human trafficking. And I am prepared to bring the full force and weight of our government to the federal and at the federal level and the other highest levels that we can do in order to solve this horrific problem getting worse and it's happening in the United States. We are going to do everything in our power to make sure that traffickers are brought to a swift and firm justice. And I've heard statistics where trafficking in the world is more now than it ever has been ever in the history of the world. And you wouldn't believe that with, you know, modern day everything. But they use modern day better than law enforcement can use modern day, whether it's the Internet or anything else. And uh, you wouldn't believe that, but trafficking is probably worse today than at any time in history. So I want to thank you for your courage and thank you for helping survivors across our country. And you are not alone. You are not alone. And this is a very important day. There's a number of the 12,000 children, 2,000 are with the parents, and 10,000 came up with uh, some really horrible people in some cases. You have the coyotes, you have the, you have the traffickers, the human traffickers. Not only drug traffickers, but you have the human traffickers. And they use these children as passports to get into the country. So we have to work on that, too. It's a very complex issue. It has been going on. You shouldn't feel guilty because it's been going on for many, many years, many, many decades. But we're going to solve that along with a lot of other problems that we've already solved. This is an urgent humanitarian issue. My administration is committed to leveraging every resource we have to confront this threat, to support the victims and survivors, and to hold traffickers accountable for their heinous crimes. Our country will not rest until we have put these vile organizations out of business and rescued every last victim. It's the new phenomena that's been age old been going on for thousands of years, but it's never been worse than now because of the internet. Human trafficking, where they grab women, put tape over their mouth, come through our border, and sell them. I will very gladly sign this legislation having to do specifically with a horrible, horrible worldwide problem, human trafficking. And it's my honor to do it, and I very much appreciate all of the Democrat support. I very much do. Thank you. Human trafficking is worse now than it's ever been in the history of our world. It's a world problem. It's a U.S. problem, but it's a world problem. How bad is that? Human smuggling. People think of that as an ancient art. There are more human smugglers right now, traffickers they call them, than at any time in the history of our world because of the internet, unfortunately. In 2018 alone, the National Human Trafficking Hotline identified over 23,000 human trafficking victims in the United States. 65% of these victims were women. More than one in five were children. Human traffickers prey on their most vulnerable citizens and people. They're vicious, they're violent. My administration is fighting these monsters, persecuting and prosecuting them, and locking them away for a very, very long time. We've had a tremendous track record, the best track record in a long time. Is it an oddity that right now in America, the majority of male radio hosts are effeminate sounding? 
they're either effeminate or they purposely sound effeminate. Okay. And within the black community, within black radio shows, morning shows, they hire predominantly gay black men on the radio. And they are flamboyant. They're effeminate. And so what's happened right now to where we are fast forward to this day in 2023 is the black homosexual the black lesbian, the black bisexual, the black transgender, they've been elevated in society and they hold some of the most powerful and prominent positions in this country and they are your new gatekeepers. In radio, in TV, in film, they are the gatekeepers to you even getting a job or producing a program or a show. And how many of y'all have seen, I'll just say this real quick. How many of y'all have seen Dish Nation over the years? You know, Dish TV or Dish Network television. They got Dish Nation. I have. Yes. How many of y'all have seen them lately that Essentially, they just got a cast of a bunch of LGBTQ folks on the show. That's the image they're pro- they're propagating for black youths to see. Celine Dion, a well-known singer, is featured in a commercial to promote her gender-neutral clothing line for kids. At the beginning of this commercial, the female babies are wearing pink and the male babies are wearing blue, alluding to gender differences. Also in the background here, notice the female sign and the male sign. This refers to gender differences as well. But something dark is going to happen after she takes magical dust and blows it over the children. Watch this. ...into the future, but the chorus will always be theirs to choose. This commercial is dark and disturbing. Did y'all notice? After she blew the magical dust, gender differences no longer existed. That's why all the babies appeared to be wearing gender neutral clothing. And the male and female sign in the background is overtaken by this supernatural light. Be not deceived. This light does not represent the most high God. What this light alludes to in this commercial is the new world order. Do y'all remember in the beginning, the babies were wearing clothes that identified with their gender. Now take a look at this. Now the baby is wearing gender neutral clothes that says new order. The new world order. Now watch this. Salino Nunu trying to shape the future of all human beings by saying find your own individuality. We bring a new order uh, as a concept into the world. You know what? You don't know what they're going to become later. And you don't want for them to have psychologically a problem of growth. Celine Dion and her constituents said they are trying to shape the future of all human beings by saying find your own individuality. You don't have to find your individuality. All you have to do is accept who God created you to be. But they have to create confusion in the culture to push their narrative. Now let's move forward. Look at this picture. This picture is a part of the commercial. 
The same commercial where she blew dust over the children. Now there's a demonic dog. What that tells you? Witchcraft. Casting spells. It's all connected to Satan's agenda in the end time. And therefore, we have to put on the whole armor of God. That we may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. But don't be deceived, my brothers and sisters. The enemy is targeting the children. So we have to continue to pray and sound the alarm in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Let's look at this article. We're going to wrap it up. Uh, Disney's Channel's first live action trans character debouted this week. Um, that's a man right that's there. An old, this is an old article. Yeah, but it just show you. So that's so Raven. This is a man? Yes. This is a man, Mr. Picard. This is a man that you're looking at. That's so Raven. Don't let fact, fact checkers hear you. They'll debunk you. <laughs> the senators, the house. Oh, the Capitol Hill. Right. Mm -hmm. Trans. Right, right. That Ima is not a her. Is it? Is it? Right. It's a sodomite. Well, okay, so this Disney character, this, you know, Disney's all about madness, right? It's all about evil. And Raven is supposed to be someone that, um, that's a man. This is the man right here, big yeah. head man. Yeah. Um, you know, was the little girl from off of Cosby um, that um, supposedly is a lesbian. Lebanon, uh huh. And um, I think she's on the what's that show? Well, it was on a show. No, look at this nonsense. No, 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 that was her show. But I think the she's, Queen she's, of Hearts. She's on a talk show now. It was on a talk show, or something like that. The View or something like that. Yeah. Uh, dude, look at this! Look at this! 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 This nonsense! Just get a big stick. Let's leave that. Don't don't even say anything. Don't even say a word. So this is the problem that we look at this nonsense. Doctor Who character is a trans. Uh huh. Right here. Look at this thing. What? So this, hold on, go back up, go back up, go back up. This person right here mm -hmm. is that person up there. This person right here? Yeah, go, this person you see right here, go up, is that person right there? Uh-huh. Listen, let's, let's just leave this thing alone. This is, <laughs> this is disgusting. Let's leave that alone. Let's, let's move on. So this is the nonsense that the world, again, I am so... Pray for your little ones. Yes. And pray now that the Mosai uh, put us aside someone to build a family with your little one. And those of us who are already of a certain age and those who of us of us who want children, we should be focusing on building families. That's what the Bible says. That's what the Mosai said. Build families. Build families. We, we don't we're not taking this thing serious enough. We are not taking this thing serious enough. We are not taking this thing. We think we have all the time in the world to pick and choose. Can, can you imagine somebody going to the supermarket and they can't make up their mind? Every day they go into the same shelves looking at the thing. Make a, make a decision. Pick. Choose. Choose. You keep going back and forth hoping that, you know. It's going to change. It's, it's, the peanut butter gonna change to the jelly. They don't want to get married. They're walking around hoping, hoping, hoping Prince Charming is gonna show up or Princess Cinderella is gonna show up or whatever it is. Well, that's 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 the same that's the same Ozempic dream that they have. Yes, yes. Um, let's look at this last one and we're gonna say shalom. It's about yeah, we're gonna say shalom after this right here. So there are children's story Masonic children's stories out there. That you can get on Amazon or um, Barnes and Nobles, like you mm -hmm. see right here. It goes the thing. 
And um, um, as you can see, brothers and sisters, Satan is trying his very best to get to the innocent ones. The children, that's his target. And we have to protect our little ones with what? What do we use? Mm. Train up a child in the way that they should go. Uh -huh. What do we train them with? The words of the most high. You, do you have any final texts so we can wrap it up? I was just going to pull up Proverbs 22, 6. This All right, the, let's get uh, Proverbs. Let's just pull it up. Proverbs 22 and verse 6. This is going to be our last text, and we're going to say uh, shalom. Okay, Proverbs 22 and verse 6. He, he, we, as, we as a people in this captivity has, has been too conditioned and too lazy to get out there and put that work in and, 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 and do our part. We, we, we um, shovel off our children to, to other people, to the televisions and to other things and not put in the work to, to teach your children. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6 says, Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. So mm -hmm. if we are doing what we're supposed to do and train our little lights up, read them the stories, explain to them, break stuff down, make it interesting. Mm -hmm. Spend time teaching them things. Take away the things of the world and give them the things of the Torah. Yeah.